February 4, 2008, NASA beamed the song Across the Universe by the Beatles towards the North Star, 431 billion light years into deep space, in hopes that one day extraterrestrials would hear it and reply. Our number one story, the British scientist Stephen Hawking says if we keep sending out the Beatles, aliens may respond with Megadeth. And not just the hit peace selves. Derek Pitts will join me before it's too late. First, Dr. Hawking's Discovery Channel documentary series is called Into the Universe. On last night's premiere, he said that the concept of alien existence is perfectly rational. He then described his own conceptions of what intelligent life on other planets might look like, from sea creatures swimming below the icy surface of Jupiter's moon, Europa, to floating aliens living in the atmosphere of a gas giant like Saturn, billions and billions of miles. Sorry, I just I went, I had a class with Professor Sagan. Uh, then there was the warning that human contact with alien life forms could doom our own existence. To quote Dr. Hawking, if aliens visit us, the outcome would be much as when Columbus landed in America, which didn't turn out well for the Native Americans. It is because of that hypothetical threat to our existence that uh, Hawking calls contact with aliens a little too risky. It might sound unlikely, but if you think about it logically, alien technology should be as extraordinary to us as a rocket ship to a caveman. I imagine they might exist in massive ships like these, having used up all the resources from the home planet below. Such advanced aliens would perhaps become nomads, looking to conquer and colonize whatever planets they can reach. The program went on to suggest that our big blue marble over here could fall victim to the super smart aliens, but today the Hawking as H.G. Wells has been criticized. Mary Wojtek, senior scientist for astrobiology at NASA, telling the Christian Science Monitor, quoting her, we're not going to get caught, say like the Native Americans when Columbus came to their shores. We've been actively listening and hopefully we get some information before any eventual encounter ever happens. On that cheerful note, time for our own encounter. Stephen Hawking is in the news tonight as one of the bona fide smart people on the planet when the renowned astrophysicist warned us about aliens from outer space this weekend. People tended to listen up. On his new Discovery Network series, Stephen Hawking says, if aliens visit us here on Earth, quote, the outcome would be much as when Columbus landed in America, which didn't turn out well for the Native Americans, end of quote. Make a note, he indicates we should stay away from them at all costs. I imagine they might exist in massive ships like these, having used up all the resources from the home planet below. Such advanced aliens would perhaps become nomads, looking to conquer and colonize whatever planets they can reach. Renowned astrophysicist Stephen Hawking says it's likely intelligent aliens could target our planet for resources and we should stop trying to contact them. His Discovery Channel show explores the scientists' ideas of what type of aliens exist and how similar to life on Earth they would be. But not everyone thinks aliens want to wipe us out Independence Day style. A blogger on science blogs thinks Hawking's idea of an intergalactic war is unlikely. My bet would be on interplanetary bio-warfare. Don't expect alien tripods with lasers. Watch out for alien viruses and bacteria turning the soil and atmosphere poisonous or unsupportive. An astrophysicist on CNN agrees there's probably some kind of life out there, but Hawking's theory of violent aliens should be a different kind of wake-up call. It says more about what we fear about ourselves than any real expectation of what an alien would be like. In other words, our biggest fear, I think, is that the aliens who visit us would treat us the way we treat each other here on Earth. Anchors on ABC's America this morning are skeptical, but say Hawking has a great imagination. But his theory is that they might be in massive ships because they ran out of supplies on their own planets. Ah, uh, very yeah. good imagination. Yes, that's the theory at least. But I believe they could be out there. Mm -hmm.